If you've been charged in Texas with a DWI, for your initial meeting, what I would like to have you do is bring in all your paperwork that you, that you got in the arrest. And there'll be things, there's a paper that's described as a DIC 24. He may have given you some police reports, some preliminary matters. Bring all that in with you because I can review those and it kind of gives me a starting point. And from you, I'm gonna to wanna to know whether the officer told you why he stopped you. Why is that important? Because if an officer stopped you for weaving within your lane, if he stopped you for speeding, those are real good defensive reasons for a stop. They help you. If an officer said he stopped you for driving the wrong way or he stopped or he didn't stop you because there was an accident, there was an accident. Those are obviously things that will help the prosecution help the prosecution. And then also what we need to do is we need to set in motion the DPS hearing. We need to set in motion me getting copies from the district attorney's office, police reports, lab reports, breath tests, and I also make, a, make an inquiry into the officer's background, what is his um, training, and very often the officers that are making an arrest, they don't have any training on the field sobriety test. If they don't have any training on the field sobriety test, I usually, usually find that they're done incorrectly. Now there's three field sobriety tests that they're gonna do in every case. One is the nine step walk and turn. There's the 30 second lift the leg, count out loud. And there's the HGN where they ask you to follow the pen with your eyes. And sometimes clients come in and say, I passed all the tests. That's good, that helps. That helps me know that the case may be defendable and is probably defendable. However, most people get arrested based on the HGN, when an officer asks you to follow the pen with your eyes. And I'm gonna tell you that juries usually don't buy that. It's not visible on the video. And so if that's what an officer base you, base you arrest on, then I, then I usually feel the case is defendable. Now, in Texas, if a case is defendable, most counties have started to offer alternatives to the DWI. So if you go in with a defendable case and start fighting, start arguing, start filing motions, they'll offer you an alternative to a DWI. If a case is not defendable, and when I say not defendable, I'm just saying that you are likely to lose a trial. If a case is like, un, if you are unlikely to win, you can st you still put up the fight and they may offer you an alternative to DWI. But if they don't, you've got a choice to make. Do you set it for trial? Or do you work out a plea bargain? And what I usually do is sit down with the client and explain the pluses or minuses, and ultimately it's your choice.